Okay, so hello everyone. Um, I intended the talk with a bit of interaction, but I guess we don't have the time, so I'll try to do it without. Um, I planned a short um, follow-up on the talk that Roland gave last time, because they um, did a bit of a discussion um, um, erupt, uh, or as a colleague of mine uh, put it, um, I dare to uh, talk up to Roland, so I guess I deserve to, to have this talk here. So the question was, is it possible to have more than two paths um, to choose from when controlling overloads with Cephini? Um, um, to demonstrate this, I'm using a set of type traits. One is, is pointer is, and is POD. Um, I hope everybody uh, knows them because we don't really have the time. Um, the thing with this is if something is a pointer, it's also a POD at the same time. So they're um, kind of overlapping. Um, whereas um, there's another set of type traits is integral, is floating point, and is arithmetic. Is arithmetic is the union of the um, other two. So if we negate it, um, these three are disjoint. And we want to make use of that, of course. Um, a little note on the syntax. Um, Roland used a lot of um, this syntax to use um, std enable if. Um, this does not work so well if you use more than um, uh, two, uh, one, more than one overload with this technique, because the default type is not part of the. Um, the signature, not syntax, thank you. Um, so um, if you use it, uh, basically your code will not compile, no matter if you instantiate the, um, the function or not. So um, first piece of code, um, we got uh, two overloads, um, more or less like uh, Roland presented to us. Um, we got is pointer and not is pointer. And we try to call this with a five and with, an, uh, with um, a pointer to a function. And um, as the, the header says, this works, uh, no problem. Um, now a bit more complicated, we got the three disjoint cases um, using is integral, is floating point, or not is arithmetic. And as again, the header to tells you already, this uh, two works because um, either uh, each, um, each function invocation will select exactly one overload and the other, twos, uh, the other two will not um, take part in the overload set because um, the Cephini kicks them out. So um, everything nice. But the big problem is if you have overlapping conditions, which is basically what Roland um, tried to tell us in, that, um, in his talk. Um, here we got is pointer and is POD. As I said before, something that is a pointer also is a POD. So if you invocate the foo with a um, pointer, um, we got um, two, um, uh, two equal functions in the overload set and the compiler can't decide which one to choose. So this doesn't work. Or does it? What exactly happened here? Anybody spots the difference? If not, I'll go back and forth. <laughs> it's a different type. Look at the invocation of the foo function. Here it's a um, null pointer, static cast to int pointer. Here it's only null pointer. The thing is, which surprised me a little bit when I found out, that null pointer does not um, fulfill the is pointer um, type trait to true because it's not um, like built in pointer type, but it's um, null pointer t, and there's a um, separate trait for this one. So that's um, a bonus to take away. And um, yeah, that's already it. Thanks. Okay. And faster than I thought. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>